me a scholarship to uh, Southeastern Louisiana after I attended Trinidad Junior College. And from there, it's just been all about basketball. Uh, let's see, growing up, um, sports was an important part of my life. You know, my dad played sports. My mom was a softball player growing up. So uh, I think sports like track, uh, basketball, football, mainly football was a, you know, was a big part of my life during those years growing up. So I, you know, I just, uh, found fun and just going outside and doing anything I could do to play those sports. Uh, I'd say around high school year, my junior year, I took basketball seriously though. Uh, I feel like, you know, I got too tall for football. So, you know, I, I talked to that with my coach and uh, he gave me the okay to just pursue basketball. I was pretty good at it. And I just wanted to, you know, improve my abilities in that and uh, my athleticism. And I feel like uh, from there, it just went on up. And, uh, I got me a scholarship to uh, Southeastern Louisiana after I attended Trinidad Junior College. And from there, it's just been all about basketball. Growing up, it was just mostly me and my mom uh, and my little brother. You know, we grew up uh, in a nice little home, I guess. Uh, my mom was a hard worker. You know, she's been working at a, a Pentex um, power plant for many years now, uh, working every day, long hours, just to make sure we get what we wanted. Uh, she was very strong, firm, and, uh, you know, confident in us. And uh, she made sure we stayed in our school books, made sure we stayed focused in sports, uh, just in life in general. She taught, she taught me many lessons, uh, you know, and I really thank her for the way she uh, brought me up, my upbringing. And uh, I think she's the main reason why I'm here today. Oh, my high school year, uh, I transferred from a Texas high school to a Colorado high school, which was Harrison. And uh, I think that, that, that uh, taught me a lot uh, within the, the winning spirit. It was my senior year. And I was with some, I was around some great players. Uh, my boy, Xavier Ford, he's hooping in a Swishman, shout out to him. You know, uh, he's an all, uh, McDonald's All-American and just hooping on that, on that team. It just, it showed me a lot, like just the athleticism, the ability out there in Colorado, you know, uh, and my ability as well, you know, they kept pushing me to be great. And uh, we was a pretty good team. I think top three in a, in a state. And uh, it just taught me the winning spirit, just being out there in Harrison. And then going to Trinidad, a small junior college, uh, it was something to get used to as a small town. You know, it's just you, you just focus on school and basketball. And uh, that's what I did. I didn't have too many distractions. I just tried to stay in the gym as much as possible uh, in my school books and just had fun out there. Uh, it was a good two years. And then transferring to Southeast Louisiana my last two years, just, I was just excited to go to a division one and just play basketball. And uh, Louisiana was a beautiful place. I loved it. I loved every moment of it. Uh, had many ups and downs, but it all, it was all for a reason. It was, and I'm thankful, I'm thankful. Uh, from going from Louisiana to, to Switzerland, uh, definitely a, a weather change. Uh, I was in Basel, Switzerland. My first year out, it was a beautiful place. I gotta say, Switzerland, I love I love Switzerland. It's very beautiful. Expensive, but it's, it's very beautiful. Um, you know, just, I still talk to the coach, Coach Pop, I call him Pop, but uh, he, uh, I still talk to him. He just showed me the ropes my first year out in Europe and uh, he believed in me. You know, he's seen a lot of potential in me and uh, I think he was right. And I gotta give him thanks for that out there in Switzerland, yeah. Arcadena, you know, is another, again, another great team, great coach. Uh, we was a team full of talent and experience. And then just being able to play Euro Cup, one of the top levels in Europe, it was just an eye opener for me. Uh, getting to travel, play against the top teams in uh, Malaga, uh, Badushnos, Trento, it was just, it was a different experience, you know, and uh, it just opened my eyes to the level of talent all over Europe. And uh, just something I would love to attend again and just, be a part of because that was a great experience ah you know I, it just came it just came out of nowhere and i'm, I'm very thankful it uh, happened during the summer i didn't know you know with covid going on i didn't know like what opportunities i'd have or how many opportunities there would be out there with the covid going on but i was blessed and uh thankful that my agent uh kevin martin was able to you know do some great scout recruiting and just get me on this team this this excellent place excellent team in trieste and uh i feel like trieste is like a gateway for many opportunities. You know, everybody 
looks at this, uh, the Italian league, A1 league, and uh, I think it's a great opportunity and I had to just pick it up. For this, for this season, uh, my, my personal goals are shooting, just, you know, go out there and compete each and every day as I, as I can, you know. Uh, I'm just thankful to be able to compete, you know, dealing with these circumstances, COVID and all that. I just want to go out there and not worry too much about the stats, but just worry about what I can do, what I can provide for the team and just give my all 110 percent. That's really what I want to focus on from this moment on. Uh, let's see, uh, Trieste fans, I want to say, uh, you know, thank you for all the support. You know, we 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 hate that we can't have you at the games, but I know y'all supporting, watching on the TV and uh, we just want to Continue to give our best for y'all, and uh, we'll see y'all in playoffs for sure. Good eyes. <laughs>